Hey everybody, welcome to Tip Tuesday. Today is a dual purpose tip for people who are tired of winter and want to glow their skin and people who are going to be getting married in the coming bridal season. And I've got some tips for you on how to look great in all of your pictures. So it is that time of year when, um, me personally, I've lost all color in my face. <laughs> so we are looking very Nicole Kidman, um, rocking a red lip today just for some color. But um, one of the things that I've seen is, and I teach this at all of my appointments, is that I see women, because we're so scared that our foundation is gonna be too dark, that we've all overcompensated the complete other direction, and now we're all wearing foundation that's too light, no color in our face, and really dark lipstick. And that can actually age us, right? So putting a little bit of color back in our face is a huge deal. So there's some different things and ways you can do this. So two tools that I think are crucial to this are amazing brushes. And so we have this is our powder brush, and this is great um, for use on with our contour shades or bronzers. Um, this kind of gives you a less precise bronze and more of just an overall glow. So if you just want to glow, this is a good one. And then this, this is one of my favorite brushes. It is our, I don't know if you can see it, it's angled. It's an angled cheek color brush. So it gets right where it needs to go, but it also has a little divot in it. So if you're into contouring, that's for your thumb and you can kind of get more of that precise contour with this. So you have options. You can use, we have new for spring. I love these. These limited edition, this is called Gilded Glow and it's these gorgeous um, bronzers that have gold built into them. And what I love about this, there's a hint of shimmer. I normally don't like shimmery bronzers. This isn't really super shimmery, it's just glow. I can't explain it, but it doesn't show up in your face as shimmer, which I love. Um, the other option is you can use our Mary Kay contour shade. And this is a matte and it comes in two colors. This is the lighter one because that's what we got going on here, but we do have one. Um, this is called Latte and we do have one, this is my personal one, we do have one called Coco that's darker. If you like, you know, you have darker skin or you like to really contour, you can use that. So the first thing that I like to do, I always teach people this at my appointments, is when you're doing products like this, you always wanna keep the center of your face light and bright. So you kind of start off center here and it's almost like you're kind of doing a C shape like this. You could do a number three and pull it back around, but I think it's really cute if you just pop it underneath where your cheek color is gonna go here, right? So if you can pop this color underneath, it's gonna go like this. Now, one thing I wanna mention before I do this, if you are getting married anytime soon or you're in a wedding or you're gonna do something soon where you're gonna be photographed, I used to do all the Photoshop work for a photography studio and I found the people in the brides that wore a little bit more cheek color and a little bit more lip color tend to photograph 3,000 zillion million times better than those that don't. So you don't have to go crazy, but just a little extra goes a long way. So I'm gonna take some of this Gilded Glow and I'm gonna use the cheek color brush because I really like this product a lot. Um, and I'm gonna put some on and I'm gonna start here and I'm just gonna kinda I'm not really adding color down here, I'm just taking what I had pulled here and pulling it down and around. I could add a little bit. And then you can just blend the heck out of this thing because you don't want it to look like you have a streak. So see, like the light is already kind of catching it there, which is great. I'm gonna do it on this side too. Sometimes you gotta move your hair. can really see it over here. And I always um, I always wanna go up when you're doing um, cheeks. I know when I was up here, I pull it down and around, but sometimes I flip it over to the other side just to kind of blend that area, make sure I'm even. I definitely have more on that other side. It's really hard to do this in a cell phone. I always say that, but it's true. Then um, I'm gonna take a cheek color. And you don't have to do both, but I just think that doing both gives you that really dewy looking skin. And one of the makeup tips I love is if you wear a cheek color that has a little bit of coral in it, it always makes you look younger. It doesn't matter your skin tone. Um, so this one is called Juicy Peach. People always get really scared of it because it's super orange looking. It doesn't go on super orange, so don't be scared. Sometimes the best cheek colors don't go on how you think. And you just kind of want to find this fat, fat part of your cheek right here. And it's almost like you're just kind of flicking a little bit right there. 
And then I like to really blend it because I don't want it to look like, hey, there's my G color, right? We're gonna blend up here a little bit too. Okay, it looks good in the mirror, it's just how the light's catching it. So there, and I have a little bit of color in my face and it just makes you look alive, it makes you look younger and it makes you photograph so much better. So hope you enjoyed Tip Tuesday.